why is Voyager 1 sending us mysterious signals? No spacecraft has traveled as far from Earth as NASA's Voyager 1. It has been exploring space for 45 years. Launched in 1977 to study Jupiter and Saturn, the probe is investigating truly uncharted territories. The Voyager mission has been transmitting information for longer than any other spacecraft and is now beyond the boundaries of the solar system. However, in the spring of 2022, the probe began sending signals that stumped NASA engineers. They were unlike any previous messages from the spacecraft, which had been traveling beyond the heliosphere for more than 10 years. What caused the unusual behavior of the long-lived probe, and what was it trying to tell us? The story of NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft is a reminder of the romance of the first space flights and the dreams of distant planets that captured the world in the 1960s and 70s. Exploring the solar system was one of the key tasks for the United States. The discussion of the project to launch probes to neighboring planets began in the late 1960s. And in 1972, engineers announced a three-axis stabilized spacecraft that uses an orientation control system based on astronomical coordinates or a gyroscope to maintain the direction of high-gain antennas towards Earth. The Command Computer Subsystem, or CCS, provides sequencing and control functions. The Attitude and Articulation Control Subsystem, AACS, controls the spacecraft's orientation, maintains antenna pointing towards Earth, and controls orientation maneuvers. Uplink communication is through the S-band, command transmission rate of 16 bits per second. The X-band transmitter provides telemetry downlink at a rate of 160 bits per second in the normal mode, and 1.4 kilobits per second for reproducing high-speed plasma wave data. Electricity is generated by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, or RTGs. Current power levels are approximately 249 watts. This system is one of the most complex ever developed for deep space, a true breakthrough for its time. The probes were named Voyager after the new mission name invented in 1976. The spacecraft were launched with a five-year exploration plan tasked with approaching Jupiter and Saturn taking and transmitting images of the surroundings of these planets. Since returning Voyager 1 was not possible, NASA made it a space messenger. On board the probe is the golden record. Greetings in 55 languages, images of people and places on Earth, and a collection of music from Beethoven to Chuck's Berry Johnny B. Good. It is interesting that both spacecraft of the Voyager mission were launched in the same year, and Voyager 1, which left Earth second, was supposed to reach its destination first according to its program. After a few months of travel, the spacecraft sent the first space photos of Earth and the Moon, which had never been seen from afar before. In 1979, the spacecraft approached Jupiter and showed scientists the first active volcanoes beyond Earth, on the Moon Io, as well as two moons Fiva and Metis, and the ring system. The spacecraft also observed the first lightning bolt beyond Earth in the atmosphere of Jupiter. After reaching Saturn and its moon Titan, Voyager 1's main discovery was the detection of three moons, Atlas, Prometheus, and Pandora. Studying Titan revealed the first Earth-like atmosphere, rich in nitrogen, in which it was possible for liquid methane and ethane to exist. After the encounter with Saturn, Voyager 1 headed upward from the plane of the planet's system to exit our solar system. At a distance of about 4 billion miles, the spacecraft took its final images as part of its mission plan, a family portrait of the solar system. This is the only existing series of photographs that capture Venus, Earth, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, all situated around the Sun. Our home planet visible as a tiny pale blue dot in a scattered beam of light prompted scientists to reflect on its fragility and vulnerability. On this day, the cameras of Voyager 1 were turned off to conserve the power of its computer. It would no longer come close to any planet for exploration. The subsequent history of the mission was a stroke of luck and a testament to the reliability of the spacecraft system. After the planned five-year mission had elapsed, Voyager 1 continued to function and transmit data, continuing its journey into deep space. In 1998, the Voyager 1 spacecraft surpassed the distance of the Pioneer 10 and became the farthest artificial object from Earth. In 2004, 
Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft to cross the heliosphere boundary and enter interstellar space. It passed through the termination shock, where particles move slower than the speed of sound. The solar wind made of plasma undergoes many changes here, resulting in heating and increased pressure. Interstellar space has much less density and temperature, but it has its own pressure. When it encounters this pressure, the heliosphere compresses, twists, and pushes particles. For the spacecraft, crossing the heliopause and the final jump were accompanied by significant overloads and a shock wave. Unfortunately, ground antennas were not able to receive data from Voyager 1 during this process. After eight years, in 2012, the probe crossed the heliopause, the zone where the boundary between solar material and the areas of particles spread from other stars occurs. For the first time, a man-made object was in this part of space. In April of the following year, 2013, Voyager 1 recorded a sound from the space environment, a unique sound caused by a solar coronal mass ejection. The wave that reached the probe caused vibrations in its surroundings, which had a new non-heliospheric density. It was almost 40 times higher than previously measured. The high-pitched tone of the signal became the final confirmation of the spacecraft's entry into a new space for NASA and humanity. In the following years of its journey, Voyager 1 encountered solar tsunamis multiple times and transmitted data about them. This helped create new models of the solar wind and study the interaction between the heliosphere and the interstellar medium. In 2017, the mission team successfully fired up the spacecraft's backup engines to continue its journey. 37 years of waiting did not affect their reliability. Finally, in 2021, Voyager 1 entered what NASA calls clean interstellar waters, conducting the first continuous measurement of material density in interstellar space. Changes in the environment can be judged by changes in the frequency of signals sent by the probe. The higher the density of electrons, the higher the sound, and vice versa. The mission team noted an episodic decrease in signal tone, which sometimes approached Earth's atmosphere readings. However, soon in early 2022, the veteran of space exploration found itself in a confusing situation in space. It began sending distorted telemetry data without signaling any alarms or malfunctions. This became a puzzle for the team of engineers. The probe and its systems were working normally, receiving instructions from Earth, performing them, collecting and transmitting scientific measurements. However, the attitude control and articulation system readings did not provide reliable information about the spacecraft. The difficulty is that it is precisely the AACS that maintains the orientation of the Voyager 1 towards Earth, allowing communication to be maintained. A failure of the AACS could have led to the loss of the probe. AACS continued to work, providing a good level of signal, but transmitted data on the position of the spacecraft as if generated randomly. The task for the team of engineers was complicated by the fact that the probe did not enter a safe mode a scenario in which only basic functions are performed, and access is open for diagnosing equipment and software. At each step of the data exchange, they had to wait for more than 20 hours, and the equipment's service life forced NASA to take a philosophical approach to the situation. The press service does not report how long the problem with the location of the Voyager 1 has existed, but assures that engineers are ready to adapt to new working conditions. Such a mystery is kind of normal at this stage of the mission, explained Suzanne Dodd, project manager for Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Southern California. Both spacecraft are almost 45 years old, which is much longer than the mission planners expected. We're also in interstellar space, an environment with a high level of radiation that no spacecraft has flown in before. But I think if there is a way to solve this problem with AACS, our team will find it. The lost space traveler was brought back under control in August of 2022. The culprit for sending incorrect data was also discovered. The onboard computer that had malfunctioned many years ago was activated and connected to the message transmission chain. It hadn't been functioning for a long time and was not taken into account by the team and turned out to be the cause of generating incorrect coordinates. 
When the engineers suspected that this was the problem, they made the decision with a low level of risk to give the AACS team the command to resume sending data to the correct working computer. This helped to resume the transmission of telemetry, and Voyager 1 returned to its place in the NASA spacecraft movement scheme. It is not yet known why AACS began sending location data to the wrong computer. Perhaps it received an erroneous command generated by another onboard device. If this is the case, there was a malfunction somewhere else on the spacecraft. The team continues to search for this main problem, but does not see it as a long-term threat to the health of Voyager 1. We are pleased that telemetry has been restored, writes Suzanne Dodd. We will do a full AACS memory read and look at everything in debt. This will help us diagnose the problem that caused the telemetry errors and conduct further investigations. Today, Voyager 1 continues its journey and sends new data about interstellar space. NASA predicts that the ship's engines will last at least until 2025. Each spacecraft produces about 4 watts less electrical power annually, limiting the number of systems the generator can support. In an effort to reduce the load, mission engineers have blocked heaters, prioritizing space exploration. No scientific instruments have been shut down due to reduced power. The probe continues to collect data using its cosmic ray instrument, a plasma instrument, a magnetometer, and a low-energy charged particle instrument. The Voyager team is working to ensure that the spacecraft continues to collect unique scientific data for as long as possible, traveling many more miles before it goes to sleep.